I had recorded this before, but my computer crashed before, and now I am recording it again. Don't worry, it crashed after like one minute, so I'm quite fortunate in that respect. We are going to the place where we want to go to. Hey, there's Scott. Well, hi, hi, Teal Teal. Something's come up. So I have to disembark. But am I glad to see you. Congratulations, League Champion. This place I'd like to invite someone like you. It's the Battle Frontier. What's the place like? You'll understand when you see it. I've spoken with this ship's captain about this. The next time you take ferry, you should be able to sail to the Battle Frontier. Okay, Teal, I'll be waiting for you at the Battle Frontier. Awesome! Tosty! And we are. This ferry is built to plow through fast running currents. Hope you enjoy the voyage. Run to the window. You can see amazing things. Yes, this is the place where the game started to crash. I realize now it's because I had a lack of battery because my um, charger is dying. But don't worry, I'm getting a new laptop in July, so it's all good. This video should be up mid-June-ish, so... And this has been recorded mid-May, so yeah. Because I'm probably going to post a video a day because they're about half an hour long. Yeah, so you go, it just shows you the currents. But it's quite cool, I think. Welcome aboard, Teal. They made me honorary captain of the SS title. You can call me Captain Briny now. You know, I retired once before, but when I saw this majestic ship, let me just say it stirred my sleeping soul as a sailor. Good, good. Yeah, there's a few areas to explore around the ship. There's a lot of trainers who I do not feel like I'm going to fight. But I believe there's some stuff. Oh, it's empty. It's disappointing. I knew there was something leftovers. Leftovers are amazing, aren't they? They're totally invigorating. Oh, wow, you didn't see me. Something of a majestic nature, I guess. Yeah, you can basically just go into people's rooms and talk to them or battle them. You don't have to, of course. It's a thing you can do if you feel like it. Cabin 2. Yes, Cabin 2. When you've slept in your bed, um, it should be the end of the ferry. Yep, there you go. I can't be bothered with fighting anyone in here because we've got the Battle Frontier to look forward to. We've arrived. Excellent. I'm ready for the ferry. The Battle Frontier. <laughs> this is it. I am excited, I really am. I know I'm going to lose badly, but I'm excited. Whoops. So I'm just getting my notepad of notes for the Battle Frontier. Let's talk to this guy. The Battle Frontier, I've long dreamed about a place like it. This is the Battle Frontier. Is it your first time here? Please step this way. The front lines of Pokemon battling. Welcome to the Battle Frontier. For a first time visitor, we issue the Frontier Pass. It's for you, so it's all the facilities in the Battle Frontier. Here you are. Awesome. We hope you enjoy all that the Battle Frontier has to offer. Well, if it isn't to you, you came out here. Oh, Mr. Scott, sir. Good day to you, sir. It's great to see you here, it really is. I hope you'll take your time and explore everywhere. Naturally, I hope you'll also experience the pure essence of battling. I also have my quarters here, so feel free to visit if you have time. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm good. I know everything about this place, sort of. Um, if you go to your thing now, you will see that it is completely different. There's your train card if you need to look at that, but here you have the battle symbols, battle record, battle points, and a map of the place. Which is really, I, I really like this, I must say. What's the place I'm looking forward to? I'm looking forward to there. I'm also looking forward to there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. I'm looking forward to this. I know I'm going to get owned completely, but I'm looking forward to it. 
So in this part, I'm basically just going to show you around. I'm not really going to do any of the battle stuff yet. I'm just going to look around the area. There are a few rooms. There are shops and stuff. So I think some people want to train. Well, this, this place is scaring me. Howdy, when it comes to the news about the Battle Frontier, I'm number one. You can think of me as the Frontier Maniac. Just check in, but you are a trainer, isn't that right? I happily share the hottest news I've gathered about the Frontier. Let's see now. Battle Tower Single is the hottest. Bet you didn't know this. One of the, those top trainers that Scott calls the Frontier Brains is there. Yes, I know. There's a Frontier Brain in every single um, battle area. Um, the Battle Dome, you need to win five tournaments in a row, which is 19 wins. Um, to get the silver um, Frontier Badge, and you need to win 10 tournaments, which is 39 wins in a row, to get the gold. Battle Pike, 28 rooms for silver, gold 140, Battle Arena, 27 wins, gold 56, Battle Factory, 21 wins, gold 42, Battle Palace, 21 wins, gold 42, Battle Pyramid, 21 floors, gold 70, Battle Tower, 35 wins, gold 70. It's going to be a long trek. This will easily take about 10 hours, at least. But it'll be fun. I look forward to it. Because some of these are really inventive, and save state of use may be needed. I, and when I say maybe, I mean it will be, but yeah. Yes, this place has pretty much everything. I'm going to stock up on stuff. They sell this crap as well, which I will be buying a lot of. So yeah, they sell quite a lot of useful stuff, as you can see. Um, which I'll be using on my precious, precious, precious Pokemon. But for now, I'm going to go... I can't remember where exactly it is. Where specifically? Yeah, it's here, that's right. Okay, it's here. This is, No, it's not. Um, this is where the Battle Palace is. Battle Palace is quite nice inside, I believe. I think this music just made me jizz. I love it. I forgot how good some of the themes are in this area. Oh, man. The thing is, this place isn't well known for having good themes. That's the thing. That's, that's the thing that sort of disappoints me about this game. It isn't well known for its themes as much. Because, you know, it's a bit unknown. But, yeah, this is it. This is the area. This thing. This confused the crap out of me. It really did. I was just like, what the hell is this? Use the Wilma Pale. Yeah, it's not the first thing you would l you would think to do. But yes, it is a pseudo wudo. And whilst it looks like a tree, it is a rock type. So if you want to catch this thing, do not use a grass move. Use something like I'm doing. I'm not going to use this overall because, you know, it's not great. But I will catch it for the fact that it is a one-time only Pokemon. So in a sense, you could class it as a legendary, sort of, if you know what I mean. Because you can only catch this thing once, I believe. Right here, right now. Which I kind of like. Oh, I thought that stopped me from using full swipe for a second. I was going to say, that's a bit annoying. No. It's not that at all. There we go. Oh, look, he has the normal rock type moves. Yeah, it did confuse me first. The first, the first time I did this, I, tr I wanted to catch it, and I used um, a grass move. And it killed it instantly. I was just like, what? And then um, when I was trying to catch it, I used rock for it. I was just like, ah, it's a rock type. <laughs> at first glance, if you didn't know anything about the Pokemon, at first glance, you wouldn't know. You just wouldn't. There's no way of knowing. But I do love this place. It's really cool. Battle Frontier is brilliant. You can get a lot of rare crap here. Now, if you go this way... A place where I'm not running into any Pokemon whatsoever. Are there no water types? Maybe not. This cave contains another one-time only Pokemon. Although, I say one-time only. They're not one-time only. They're the, it's the only place you can get them. But this cave is filled with Sneaker. 
The ring, I must have the ring! No, but, um, yeah. Smeagol's an interesting Pokemon. They copy you. They sketch you. Which I like as a move. It's, it's a cool Pokemon. It copies the move you used recently. So it, it's quite an interesting Pokemon in that sense. But it is the only Pokemon that's in this cave, I believe. They're not particularly great, but they are, in a sense, rare. Because it's the only place you can get them in the game. So Battle Frontier does have Pokemon, just not as well known. There you go, got it. May as well use my Rax... My Rax... Mapel. No, my Max Repel now. Because I don't need to, you know, use... It anymore. This is pretty much going to be the last time I use a Max Repel and stuff. Now, I cannot remember if you can use full restores and stuff in the battle areas. I don't know how the rules work, or at least I can't remember how it works. I also can't remember if there are items down here. Oh, there are, okay. So I will explore this bit, place a bit. Oh, there are some good items around here. Yes, I'm going to be um, buying a lot of protein and stuff for all of my Pokemon. Why? Because I need it. I would like it very much. I sort of need to get as strong as possible for this place. It'd be great if I had an EV Pokemon, but you know. I don't exactly understand how EV training works, but I know the basics. I know enough to get me by. Although I don't have any. Oops. As I said, this is the last place we'll probably be using Max Repels, because after the Battle Frontier, I will do the Battle Tower near Moorville, but I'll do that after this area, because I just don't feel like doing it now. I want to get this place over with. I don't want to do the frontier. Ah, we're back at the beginning. Okay then. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Have I ever mentioned how much I love this music? Have I ever mentioned how much I love this game? I think I have. Dead ass. Anyway, yeah. Cabos. It's pretty much giving you all the stuff that's rather expensive. Ta-da! Uh-huh. Is it now? What is this place? Record Ranking Hall. Oh my god, it's this awesome music again. Yep, you haven't done the Battle Dome or anything, so it won't have any ranks for you. But, when you do do stuff like that, it will. What's this huge one? Oh, the Battle Tower, okay then. Oh no, Repel War, fair enough. There's quite a lot of them. There's more than there should be, so I don't know what all of them are, I can't be bothered to look at them. Anyway, yeah. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Oh god, this place. The Battle Pyramid is, how do I say, long. <laughs> long, long, long. It's tough. It's a maze, essentially. This music just made me jizz again. How do I not own any of this music? I'm downloading this, this music, seriously. I forgot how good it is, my god. It's orgasmic, I love it. No, clearly. Okay, right, so let's see. You can go behind the house, so I wonder if there's any secret items. Alright, no, fair enough, worth a try. Should recognise where we are. We're just going in a loop. Is this what I think it is? No, it's the other one. The battle or something. Why is all the music here just awesome? God, 
so good. What was this one? Ah, the Battle Arena, of course. I like the Battle Pike. The Battle Pike's really cool. Which I think is where we're nearing. Oh, I think we've gone in a loop again. Oh, no, no, this is the exchange corner. You exchange gifts. Yes, you um, can de get different gifts. Now, BP comes... I can't remember how easy they are to get, actually. I can't remember how rare they are. But yeah, these are basically... These are basic... These are the doll section stuff for, like... You know. Yes, you wish you had them all. You're not going to have any. Yeah, um, anyway. Um, yeah, you can... While doing stuff at the Battle Frontier, you get BP points, depending on how... Battle points, depending on how well you do. Um, and essentially, you'll rack up a massive amount, obviously, and, you know, get some good stuff. Now, these are the cheap end of the stick. One BP, that's basically one battle and you lose, and that's what it is. It's not bad, I suppose. Leftovers... Leftovers is surprisingly big, for some reason. And of course, that's the other big end of the stick. I'm sure there's another one, though, which does other stuff, like rare candies, but I can't remember. Maybe that's my imagination. Okay, that's the place we went to. So we should look at this place. Battle Tower, isn't it? Yep, Battle Tower. Again, why is everything here so awesome? This is quite a big area. As you can see, there's a lot of battles to be won. I think this is Scott's house. Oh no, it's not this one. Oh, um, I believe that's the only um, Meowth you can get in the game. If you have a Skitter, you can trade it, which isn't bad actually, because Meowth can be good. No, this is Scott's house, isn't it? Maybe? Yeah, this is it. Well, hello and welcome. <laughs> Sorry about the cramped space. Anyway, too, let me formally welcome you to the Battle Frontier. This is my dream come true. Took me years and years, but I've finally grown, given shape to my dream. On reflection, it was a terribly long journey. I left home alone on a quest to find strong trainers. No one can imagine how much effort or time it took to make this real. But that's all in the past, no point dwelling on that. All I want for you is to enjoy battling to your heart's content here. Teal, I want you to have this as a memento for our time. Yay! I got battle points. I yawned as well. You can check your battle points on the Frontier Pass. The more success you have here at the Battle Frontier, the more battle points you will collect. Use your battle points the way you see fit. Like trading them for items. I'm expecting good things from you. Yes! Scotty Boy here is the person who owns this place. This is the Battle Dome. Yes, yeah, Scott does own the place. He's a rich ponce. No, he's not. He's awesome. <laughs> Welcome to Jungle Japes. Here we see the cradled mountain cat. Seriously, jungle theme type thing. Awesome, but jungle themed. <laughs> I believe we only have two more to see. I could be wrong on that. Yeah, it's two more. So this one, and then the Battle Pike. Which one am I going to do first? The Battle Pike. Nice. Very nice. 
I like that theme a lot. That, that was, oh, why are the themes here so godly? I need to, I need to download them, like, now. You know, now. This is the Battle Pike, isn't it? Yes, it is. Battle Pike. Pike, choose one of three paths. I love this. One, it's in the shape of a survivor, which is misleading because this place is really long. Um, but basically, you have a choice of three doors. I believe there's 14 times you have to go through the doors. Yeah, that's why it's the Battle Pike. Yeah, you go through 14 times, so you do it twice, and then you can battle the Frontier Brain. But essentially, what happens is there are three doors to pick from. Two of them, I believe, are trainers, um, and one is an empty, empty room. And sometimes the empty room will just be, um, will be someone who heals you. But there will also be sometimes someone who heals you after a battle, so it's quite good. Music is catchy. Whoever came up with this song is, an, is a legend. He just, they are. Well, on that note, I think it's time to leave this part because next time I start the Battle Pike. And I'll have a party full of level 100, and I'll use a lot of HP ups, etc., etc., etc. See ya.